Well, hang on, isn't this the opposite of what they should be doing? Let's begin. Now, I'm sure, like me, all of you were brought up knowing that if you'd done wrong or had committed any crime at all, that you'd more than likely go to prison for, and that will be a massive deterrent to stop you from ever doing such a thing. And obviously at the moment, we have this just like a bit of a problem with prison overcrowding apparently, so what are they going to do about it? Are they going to build more prisons and things like that? Well, uh, maybe, but at the moment, they are deciding to do something, let's just say, a lot more stupider than what you'd think of. And, and I say that because, and according to this article, it says that prisoners are likely to be released earlier as part of Labour's plans to tackle prison overcrowding. I mean, how is that going to work in practice? Are they going to say something like, oh, you know, don't worry about all these prisoners. They've only been in for about a quarter of the time or so. They'll be fine reformed characters. It just does make you wonder, but just how short will their sentence be? Well, according to this, Sky News understands that one of the core proposals being considered is to lowering the automatic release point from the 50% mark of an inmate sentence to either 40 or 43%. Which, thinking about it, if you're in for a 10-year sentence for assault or whatever, it means you'll be out in four years rather than five, which admittedly might only be a year's difference. However... That is a year that any victim of that wouldn't have to worry. And if anything, this plan is only going to stress out the victims of the potential crime. And not only that, but it will also mean that that person might, in that time, commit other crimes which they wouldn't have obviously been able to do otherwise, eh? Impacting new victims which surely would have been okay otherwise. At the moment, it says prisoners serving determinate sentences, those with fixed end dates, are released at the halfway point, and once released, they will serve their sentence on licence, meaning that they are supervised by the probation service in the community and must stick to certain conditions, and that may sound all well and good, but they're not there with them the whole time, are they? And admittedly, yes, I know some have tags, but even so... Being on a tag surely won't mean that the government or whoever else will know who these people are meeting up with, eh? And quite worryingly, it admits a lowering of the automatic release point could mean thousands of additional inmates being let out early. Sexual, violent and terror-related offences, though, are excluded from the proposal. Now, whilst hopefully that will act as some sort of safety net to the victims of their crimes, but presumably means that burglars and robbers or whatever else will still be able to continue to be released and then may offend again. And being burgled isn't exactly very nice and can cause a massive amount of stress. But that's not the only thing that Labour seem to be doing. And this just gets a bit more bizarre as I go on because it says that Sky News understands that Miss Mahmood, hope I pronounced that rightly, she is the new Justice Secretary apparently. She was keen to emphasise her background as a barrister. Well, just makes me wonder how similar her background was to Keir Starmer's former job as public prosecutions. But anyway, she apparently expressed a desire to better embrace technology and AI to improve the efficiency of the service in the future. So what does that mean? Are all inmates going to have their face scanned and be followed wherever they go? You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? But I've got a feeling those days are far in the future. And don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting everyone in the whole of the UK to have their face scanned because that will surely be an invasion of privacy. However, for prisoners on licence who would have otherwise been remaining in prison, that might not be such a bad thing. But you know, don't worry because Miss Mahmood spoke of the immediate problems in prison, though sources say little detail was provided as the government continues to weigh up its options. If they release a lot of people rather than concentrate or hiring more people to build prisons, in my opinion, that is going to cause surely nothing but problems. And I think if they continue to release people earlier and earlier and earlier, could we be in some sort of situation where a government in the future will say, you have been jailed for 10 years, but you now only need to serve one? A 10% sentence, which, if anything, seems to be, doesn't it, the way they're going, if they're now lowering it from 50 all the way down to 40, potentially. It even says here, listen, that... Probation officers have previously told Sky News that high-risk prisoners were being let out with sufficient time for safeguarding checks. And Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer has committed to keeping a previous government scheme in order to free up space as his government inherits a ballooning prison population. At the end of the day, though, surely if you give someone a long, harsh punishment which fits the crime they've done and gives them a massive deterrent, they more than likely will not commit it again. But lowering any deterrence is going to presumably do the opposite, eh? 
they could also, you know, actually focus a bit more attention on returning any people who commit crimes if they come here for here illegally from the safe country of France, or of course anywhere else, and then that way wouldn't actually be freeing up a bit more room. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say everyone who comes over here illegally or legally is a criminal because they aren't, but there are some who indeed are, unfortunately. But what have other people in the government said about it? What about the uh, Home Secretary? Well, she said on a neighbourhood visit to South London, Yvette Cooper today admitted there is not going to be a quick fix to solve overcrowding in prisons, suggesting the government is extremely concerned by the situation it has inherited from the Tories. Oh, here we go. The blame game starts. And it seems, though, she says to have been a scorched earth policy in which they have failed to build the prisons that we need, she said. Although, to be honest with you, I don't think Labour's apparent new plan of releasing them all early is exactly the right way to go about it. And if anything, in my opinion, just goes to show another reason why the Labour government isn't really fit for office, in my opinion. 